Hello. In this video, I'll be showing how to create a bad pixel map in Astral Pixel Processor using darks and dark flats. And it's a little bit uh, centric towards the uh, ZWO ASI 1600MM, uh, but the principles can be applied to any camera, so it's generic enough for that. To get started, you'll want to select your working folder. In my case, I've already done so. I selected my bad pixel map uh, folder. But if you need to do it, you just go ahead and click on the uh, button and select your appropriate folder. Like I said, we'll be loading darks and dark flats, so let's get started. We'll go ahead and click on the dark button here. And let me go ahead and navigate to where my darks are. And for the darks, you're going to want to be using uh, darks that um, are fairly long in duration. In my case here, I'm using uh, darks that are 300 seconds or 5 minutes long. So somewhere between 5 minutes and 10 minutes is recommended. Uh, the longer the better. So we have our 50 darks. Now we want to load our uh, dark flats. So let me go ahead and select my dark flats. And these aren't really specific to a filter or um, duration. They should match as close as possible to what you used for your uh, flats when you took them. Uh, but uh, generate a bad pixel map. Uh, actually, it just needs to be somewhere in the ballpark, so you can use this for multiple sessions. So we'll go ahead and copy in our uh, 50 dark flats. So we have our darks, our dark flats. We don't need any other uh, um, master type information. So we're ready to start calibrating. In calibration, I don't have master bias. I do have a master dark flat. And since I have uh, a number of them, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, Sigma Click from my outlier rejection. I'll talk a little bit about that later. As I move down, I also have um, master darks. And likewise, I'm going to select Sigma Clip for it as well. That is all the masters we have. Um, we're going to be creating a bad pixel map. So you see here we have hot pixel kappa and cold pixel uh, percentage. I'm going to change this to 2.4 and I'll explain that a little bit later. Leave this at 25. All my other settings are pretty much left to default other than the fact I want to of course say I want to create a bad pixel map. And while I'm at it I'll go ahead and create my uh, master uh, files as well at 32 bits. So let's go ahead and click on Create Masters in our bad pixel map, which is really what we're after. So, okay, while this is processing, I've decided to do this video because I've seen some other uh, information out there talking about creating bad pixel math using light flats and darks. And that didn't work for me. I got a message saying that wasn't possible and had a critical uh, error. So. Uh, so I, I needed to either use dark flats or bias. I'm not using bias. Uh, on this particular camera, um, I've heard things about uh, Generation 1 specifically for the ASI 1600 as having issues creating bias uh, subs. So uh, I'm not sure if it still applies. I think mine's a Generation 2. And if somebody knows if that's a fact or not, let me know. But uh, uh, just in case, I've gone ahead and used dark flats rather than bias on this. But you can use bias or you can use dark flats, whichever uh, whichever works best for your camera. Let's talk about some of these other settings up here. For my darks and my dark flats, uh, if I would have had something less than about 20 subs, I would have just left this as, instead of average, actually I would have selected uh, median and left this with uh, no rejection like this one is down here. But since I had 50, I set it to average sigma clip or I could have selected Windsor clip, I believe, as well. Um, same thing for the um, um, Master Dark. Uh, coming down to the uh, bad pixel map area, I selected 2.4 for the hot pixels because you want to try to generate a uh, percentage of about 3% uh, hot pixels uh, to be uh, protected by your bad pixel map or generated by your bad pixel map. 
And for me to do that on the ASI 1600, I had to make the setting 2.4. Apparently this camera doesn't have any real issues with uh, cold pixels because uh, it didn't seem to matter if I had this value at 25, which was the default, lower or higher. It didn't seem to really make a difference. Um, so I just left it at the default. And let's see, it's now uh, going through and looking at the, it's already looked at all the uh, dark frames and now it's looking at the dark flats. So it doesn't take it too long to to go through and create these uh, uh, master darks and master dark flats. Overall I've been really happy with the software. Uh, a little bit of a learning curve but not too terribly bad. I've, I've uh, really enjoyed the images I've been able to generate uh, using it. It really excels in mosaics. And we don't have too much further to go here. Of course all your files that you loaded are all listed down here below in this area can see all the uh, darks and all your dark flats that you've already loaded in. When you get uh, information created by the uh, calculations, in this case I already have a master dark that's been created, um, it will also create a master dark flat and finally it will create a bad pixel map. And when it's done we'll go ahead and we'll pull up that bad pixel map and take a look at it and see if we generated the results we were looking for. So it's just about done. Uh, just a couple more frames. Uh, there we go. So now it's uh, looking at the information and generating a uh, a actual dark flat master for this. And then we'll begin looking at both of those uh, master files to create a bad pixel map. look down here we see bad pixel map listed. Let's go ahead and double click on that and take a look at it. And there it is. Mine doesn't look like some of the other videos I've seen but if I do go ahead and zoom in I do see all my bad pixels out here. And what you want to look at is in this information area, this uh, uh, detail information. Here's my 2.4 that I entered over here for my hot pixel kappa and a 25 for the cold pixels which really didn't make any difference. Uh, you want to get a somewhere around 3% here uh, for your reading. So uh, when I first did it I had a way too low of a reading and when I readjusted it down to 2.0 I had too high of a reading. So uh, 2.4 seems like it works best uh, for my camera at 100 and uh, what they call 100, 139 unity gain on my uh, uh, camera at minus 20 degrees. So anyway, that's how you create a bad pixel map for the ASI 1600 or for just about any other camera. Like I said, you may want to have to change your uh, hot pixel uh, kappa and cold pixels, but most of the other settings uh, should apply. If you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much.